or Poland, trying times lie ahead. We wage pitched battles in the east, reclaiming the city of Lwów. Ignacy Jan Paderewski arrives in Poznań, fanning the flames of freedom in the west. The Greater Poland Uprising ends in victory, putting an end to German rule. In Śląsk, we launch three armed uprisings. We hold four plebiscites to determine our own borders with Germany. In the north, General Haller claims the Baltic coast for Poland. In Putsk, he officiates Poland's wedding to the sea. Never again shall we part. The Bolsheviks march westward, invading Poland by the hundreds of thousands. Yet we stand our ground. The Red Army is an unstoppable force, but only for a time. United, we head into battle. We entrust our country to God, while Józef Piłsudski plans our final strike. We emerge victorious. The threat is gone. Europe is spared the bloodshed of the communist revolution. On Piłsudski's orders, General Zelikowski stages a mutiny capturing Vilnius with the help of a ruse. The Republic of Central Lithuania is proclaimed and it soon joins Poland. As battles wage on all fronts, we're busy building our country. We face a formidable challenge, uniting a country partitioned by its three neighbors for more than a century. We establish laws and elect a democratic parliament. We form a government. Finally, we get to decide our own destiny. Women are granted full suffrage. Wrecked and exhausted by its fight for independence, Poland must be rebuilt from the ground up. Our soldiers return from the battlefield to serve their country on the home front. We design, we create, and we build. The Polish spirit permeates the arts and sciences. Our dreams of a strong, prosperous and modern state are coming true. We build the Radium Institute. Marie Curie donates a gram of the precious element. At last, we can relax and enjoy life. But not for long. Once more, the threat of war hangs in the air. For Poland, trying times lie ahead once again. Germany and the Soviet Union sign a pact to conquer Europe.